real honest. I'm always honest about it. I was upset that day. I was a brand new member of Congress. I'd worked very hard on, on objecting to Joe Biden's electoral college votes because I believe that right. was that was my role and what I was what I wanted to do. And I believe it's the right thing. I would do it today. I would do it tomorrow. But I was very upset. I never expected anything like that. And when it happened, I thought, this is Antifa. And no one can convince me it was so-called Trump supporters. Right, right. But and, and we know there's a lot wrong there. And I cannot wait for invest real investigations. Is that what's going to happen? Yeah, we will well, do real. But let, know, me, let me say this, yeah, though. Yeah. No one can convince Marjorie Taylor Greene that the folks who ran up on January 6th were Trump supporters, that they were Antifa is what she's having to say. Remember that because this is a tale of a liar and a hypocrite because she said this at CPAC, I believe, at least she was. She said this at some point. But also at CPAC, there was this weird exhibit that she participated in. And I'll tell you what that is and why that makes her first statement completely null and void, watch. trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. By the power of God, cast into hell, Satan and all evil spirits release this bondage that's going on in our country and upon Brandon. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 You guys see this creepy intersection of political, I guess, protest along with religion. So you're praying for a guy who's not really in prison acting like he's in prison with a MAGA hat on and an orange jumpsuit. And there enters Marjorie Taylor Greene kneeling in front of him to help him pray. Or is it to get that photo opportunity to make these crazy folks outside believe that you actually give a damn about anything that they're saying? What does God have to do with trying to get criminals out of prison? And here's the, hip, here's the hypocritical part, you guys. Remember that first clip we just ran? No one can convince me, Marjorie Taylor Greene, that those folks who ran up on January 6th were Trump supporters. Until I see one in a cage acting like he's been imprisoned and I'm gonna pray with him. Which one is it? Is it no one can convince you or is it this actor can convince you by saying he was one of them? Because he was by the way, and actually he uh, sold out his buddies. One more second, you guys, I wanna go to this one first clip. For Thursday's performance on the J6 cage, the man in the prison was an actor. But on Friday, the man was, not, uh, was none other than Brandon Straka, a self-proclaimed former liberal who founded Walkaway, it's a social media campaign encouraging Democrats to ditch their party for the Republican Party. Straka was a vocal stop the steal proponent and activist who landed in hot water with the feds when he filmed himself from the steps of the Capitol building on January 6th. He got a plea deal because he snitched on his buddies and now he's in a cage acting like he's been persecuted. And Marjorie Taylor Greene who just said no one can convince her that anyone else did this but Antifa went and kneeled in front of him and said, you know what? I agree with you, Brandon. You are politically persecuted and Tifa MAGA supporter. It doesn't make any sense. But you know what, those folks praying hard outside of it, it makes sense to them.